Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this video is in regards to um, cleaning up, I um, guess you would say, splash up from the highway. Um, my brother picked up this uh, 2002 Chevy Blazer, and I uh, got a really good deal on it. It's got uh, really low mileage for the year on it. It just turned a little over 100. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is a follow-up video for my last video that I posted in regards to cleaning up the uh, splash uh, residue that had gotten splashed up onto the fender and the passenger door of my uh, brother's O2 Blazer. As you can see, I got it all cleaned up on there. And uh, it went all the way back and it even got splashed up on here too as well. Um, managed to clean it up. My secret was, I know someone posted a comment on take it to a body shop and let them look at it. Um, I got a little daring. I uh, it also splashed up too, uh, real fast, just to tell you, it splashed up, but as you can see, they're still in there, but I'm not worried about in there. It splashed up on here, all up inside this rim here. It splashed up in here. You can still see where it was on the inner uh, fender well there, but I'm not worried about it. Um, took a lot to get it off. It took me about two or three hours almost to get it off there, but look how nice the finish looks now. Um, even got, look at that completely gone all that stuff basically what I think it honestly was was just white street paint um, the more I played with it the more I realized I think that's all it was so um, went ahead and cleaned it up and um, after what I did was I used a uh, uh, electric heat gun to um, heat the surface up but beforehand I took bug and tar remover um, made by turtle wax seemed to help loosen it up a good bit and I just uh, misted the whole area on the back bumper there, on the side of the back bumper, which is plastic, up underneath the, the bottom of the rockers. I even cleaned it up underneath the rockers, too. If you go up underneath here and look, it's even cleaned up underneath the rockers. They're all clean, too. There's no more, um, more of that white crap on there. So, um, But after I let it sit for a while, and I know it probably wasn't a good idea, but I used uh, Goo Gone, too, and an old shop towel. I just worked at it in an old plastic putty knife, not a metal one, a plastic putty knife, and just worked on chipping the, the heavy stuff off, and then really seemed to be really sticking to the paint, so I went and got my heat gun, and just carefully uh, aimed the heat gun onto the area, and as I was aiming the heat gun onto there, I'd get it to heat up, and then I took my rag and just went, whoop, wiped it right off. It was just wiping right off with the heat gun. You can't hold the heat gun on there too long because it'll start to actually melt and ruin the paint and the clear coat. So you just got to get it hot enough that it lets you whoop, wipe off the um, the paint. And then once I was all finished, I used, um, uh, I think it's number three, I'll have to take a look, Turtle Wax um, rubbing compound. And I have, uh, I didn't get out all my tools because it's still winter time, but I like my buffer and stuff. But I did get, I have a little buffer four inch buffing um, that hooks onto your drill and I used that with the rubbing compound and just buffed the rocker panels and the uh, the bottom of the door I went all the way up here where you can see the dirt starts right about in here see the dirt there that needs washed and I cleaned all this up went over it with some Windex to get rid of any existing wax or any of the goo gone off because the ammonia helps break that down um, Wax and grease remover is the best thing to use, but I found that that worked fine. I mean, as you can see, you now can see me in the finish. <laughs> uh, and then I did get out the one uh, buffer I have that has the wool uh, buffing pad on it, and I used some turtle wax um, platinum wax, and I went over the whole section, waxed it, buffed it, and then I have some, if you're familiar, there's a company called Adams Polishes. Um, I think it's just adampolishes.com. If you Google search Adams Polishes, um, you'll find it. Um, they make all kind of automotive products for um, uh, car washes, soaps, everything. They're for pretty high end. I think they're a California company, and uh, I heard about them through the dealership where I buy a lot of my vehicles from, and they use it. In fact, they have a whole showroom with Adams Polish products displayed. Um, I love their products. They work great. So I used um, after I was all done waxing it and buffing it. I just misted it with some of the Adams polishes. It, uh, it's like a pink uh, detailing spray, and used the microfiber to wipe it all down. And um, it, it's turned out even better than I was expecting it to. But like I said, just to give you another quick close-up there, if you look down there, look at that. 
I mean, you can see my camera in the reflection. That's how good it turned out. So I'm really pleased with the results. So if anybody out there has this problem, like I said, this is at your own risk. I mean, don't, you know, you're not going to hold me responsible if it screws something up because I'm sure I didn't do it the proper way. But I'm just letting you know that my idea did work and uh, just use the heat gun and uh, get the surface hot enough just to scrape it off and then and then just pull the heat gun away, wipe it off, and just let the metal surface cool and did nothing, you know, as far as damaging the paint. Um, turned out well so it's all cleaned up now I'm just gonna take it to the car wash and uh, we're gonna go ahead and wash it off for him because as you can see I don't know if you can see that how dirty it is he looks like he went off-roading or something in the thing so um, I'm gonna see too the one starting issue I was having that I was telling you about with the um, uh, as far as the um, possibility of the fuel pump or just simply needing a tune-up we're gonna once this summer hits I'm gonna do cap rotor uh, on the distributor wires, plugs the whole the whole shebang, and um, we'll see if this does it. Of course, it started right up, but if you notice, it had a little bit of like a hesitation. Um, so, like I said, and there's that low fuel light, but I actually have almost a full tank of gas, so that's sending units shot in that in the tank. So, gotta get that done. But uh, other than that, we're gonna take it. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Take it for a drive here. We're going to go down to the car wash. Get buckled up here. Now I'm going to have to adjust this seat because my brother likes to sit in the back seat when he drives, which is really annoying. So, but um, all right. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll keep you on for a couple minutes just to give you an idea how it drives. It does need a wheel bearing, but uh, uh, nothing major. Um, I've done. Probably hundreds of wheel bearings, and I'm not even exaggerating. GMs especially are known for wheel bearing issues, so not anything, not anything new to me, that's for sure. So sorry, I'm wobbling everywhere. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and drive. So, but uh, runs real good. I'm gonna do some coolant flushes, get rid of that Dex cool out of it, get some green in it this summer. Uh, it looks pretty clean. I'm pretty certain from studying the engine. I'm pretty certain this thing has had. Uh, intake gaskets done on it. I would not be surprised. You can almost tell that the um, form of gasket, uh, the black form of gasket that runs across, that you beat across the front of the uh, intake where it meets the uh, the block there. Uh, you can almost tell that that's not from the factory. It's kind of sloppy. Well, it's not sloppy, but you could tell someone did it with their hand and it wasn't applied with a machine like they do uh, you know, at the factory when they build it. So I think someone did the intakes and that's probably why the deck's cool is fresh in it. Um, if that was the original Dex cool in there, I guarantee you it would have ruined these intakes by now anyway, so, um, but like I said, we're going to go out to the car wash here and rinse this off, so, and see what, um, and see what, um, we can do here. We're going to try to make it look a little cleaner for him. It's kind of a little surprise. He doesn't know I'm doing this yet, so, the other day I surprised him. He needed new rear speakers, and, uh, he put his head unit in, and I picked him up a nice set of Pioneer speakers. 300 watt. Um, there are six and a halfs, I think. These have uh, a six and a half in the front doors and the rear doors. Uh, I think it's a four and a quarter, I think, up in the dash, but I haven't checked those numbers yet. Um, we're going to eventually replace all the speakers here. They were the one uh, passenger door is blown out, so it sounded a little funny, but I'm going to see if you can hear that wheel bearing or not. probably can. I don't know if this camera is just a... This is actually an Insignia camera. It's a Best Buy house brand camera. I don't even think they carry them anymore. Um, it's only... Uh, well, it's a 12 megapixel. It takes up to a 4 gig memory chip in it. It's just a point-and-shoot camera, but I've been doing all my videos with it because I haven't had the extra cash to actually buy a, a real camcorder to do this. So um, I've been just using this. And it seems to work pretty good. You know, it does what I need it to do. I'm just shooting a couple YouTube videos. I'm not really, you know, trying to make a movie here, so, but, um, other than that, I'm probably going to let you guys go here. I just wanted to let you know that I did get that cleaned up, and we're going to take a ride down to the car wash here and clean up the rest of it, and hopefully he's surprised, so take it easy, y'all, and, uh, have a good one. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I love comments. I really get into this car stuff, so I enjoy having feedback, and, um, I like making new friends. I've been doing a lot of networking through YouTube, believe it or not. Just other car people that are uh, into doing this. So, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, something we all like to do. So, 
Other than that, I hope you all have a good one, and uh, take care, guys.